Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, today we're gonna set up a uh, business email. Um, I'm not gonna explain what that is because if you already, um, if you're already at this video, you know what you're looking for. So I'm gonna use a Zoho Mail. They've been around for a long time. I've used them before. Uh, they have about 10 million subscribers, and these are their plans. Um, I know you guys are looking for free, um, but email and a phone um uh, it's very important in business so uh, i don't think you want to play around with this so um go with whatever you choose a dollar four three i don't i don't really um care but um this is going to be your business email so um this is going to be a very important thing so for this video i'm just going to go with the free forever plan but there are a lot of limitations to this this is just so that um basically all i need is a website email one email and i only i only have one domain so it's a pretty simple step for me um you can either buy a domain or you i already have one so i'm just going to type it up I already have that domain so I'm clicking sign up with a domain I already own so I already own that domain I'm gonna add it I'm gonna pause this and enter my information so this is pretty much your name your email like your current email um, they're gonna send you a verification code to your phone. Um, let me just find it and then I'll put it back in there. Okay, so this is just a standard. To make sure you're a real person, I guess. 00235, verified mobile. Update your country detail. Florida I'm just gonna show you how to set this up uh, pretty much this is how email works um, the uh, domain you know let's say your Joe's pizza dot com anytime someone sends you email um, they're gonna send you email you know Joe at Joe's pizza dot com it's gonna go to an email server. The email server is gonna look up MX Records on um, its uh, servers. So MX Records stand for Mail Exchange Records. So um, everybody that receives email, Gmail, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Yahoo, they need to have an MX Record on their DNS uh, settings that points to a server where the mail is gonna go. That record is gonna tell that email client a this is where uh, joe joe's mailbox resides you know two servers one three four five you know ten servers one server so this is what we need to um get from uh zoho mail to be able to receive email at whatever domain is for your business so in this case i need to verify uh, this uh i need to verify this domain so I, I want to do, um, I need to edit the DNS. So I already, I'm already logged in to, uh, I use Cloudflare, but you could be using GoDaddy. You could be using Namecheap. Uh, Cloudflare is just kind of like a CDN. Um, I done videos on how to set it up. So um, you can get free SSL. You can get, kind of speed up your website. So um, I need to, um, I need to go to uh, Cloudflare and, um, here I am. I'm on Cloudflare, and I'm, I'm gonna go to Cloudflare.com and then log in. I've already configured this, so this step you you can watch another video or just do a search for how to sign up for Cloudflare. It will not interfere with anything. You can do it in five minutes. Um, all right, so um, you can be on. Uh, you need to you need to find out how to edit your DNS setter, uh, uh, settings for your particular domain. In this case. 
in this case these are the settings that I have for my domain so uh, right now let me just go to see what it is that they want okay you're about to set up business email for your domain oh yes remember find the ownership so like your domain DNS hosting provider okay go daddy I have another right? it's mine oh mine it's not here so so this is just telling me I need to create a TXT record and I need to put this in that TXT record. So I'm just gonna go to TXT record. I'm gonna add a record. So all I did was just put an at sign there. Most of the time that's what they want. Let me make sure. Yeah. So Instead of typing smoothiehelp.com, I could just put the at sign and it'll pick it up. So I'm gonna save it. Okay, uh, let me go back and it's the C name. Now let's do the C name. We need the C name. So I'm gonna go back and create a C name. and let's go back and no 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 see name this is just to verify the domain um, I'm gonna be adding verify my txt I'm gonna click on verify congratulations your domain smoothie help has now been verified provide E a desire username to create your domain based email account by default the user who signs up first set up the domain becomes a super administrator okay I'm just gonna make a Peter create mm -hmm. account so I just created Peter as smoothie okay you have now verified your domain you can now proceed to add users and create account for organizations you can use okay I I'm not gonna add any users right now but um I'm looking for the uh, I'm looking for where you're gonna get your MX record, which is the most important thing. My account. Bear with me, I haven't been to this website in a, a while, so. So outgoing mail is good. I went here, mail. I went to the mail. I, I've only got one user and then I sent an email and it went out. It, it works. So um, let me uh, pause the video and then configure the other uh, incoming mail. Okay, it took me a while to figure out how, how to edit the MX record. So um, just go back to Soho.com and um, go to login. By now you should have already created an account and verify verify your domain uh, you're gonna go to mail and from here yeah, this is the main email I already tested sending email so I'm gonna go here to I click on my little uh, my profile thingy and I'm gonna go to control panel from there yeah okay great groups create groups verify domain domain setup I don't want to create any groups I want to skip this okay now we're gonna start receiving email I don't know what I did if I kind of got out where I wasn't supposed to but I kind of got lost in the setup here but I show you how to get back in there 
log in, then go to your mail, and then go to control panel. That's for the first email account. The other accounts are not going to have the uh, this this capability. They shouldn't. So we'll test. We'll add an account. This is what I was talking about. This is your MX records. These are your MX records. I'm just going to go to uh, Cloudflare and I'm going to go ahead and copy these babies. Okay, these are MX records. I already have MX records. So um, I'm going to delete them. Yep. I registered it with name uh, cheap and so name cheap already puts their own MX records in there so uh, just to give you an idea of what it looks like I'm gonna go MX record I'm just gonna create a record MX and instead of typing the whole uh, domain I'm just gonna put an at sign and I'm gonna copy this MX that's Zoho this is telling priority is 10. This is telling the world that you want to um, receive that email should go to, to, to these guys, to these servers, because they're your email provider. So I'm going to create. Okay, I added two, now I'm going to add the third one. Okay, so what do I got? I got one, I got a 10 and a 20. Now, you can have all these uh, priority 50. Let me add the last one. I just wanted to uh, say that um, you can have 100 records. Um, it, it'll let you add 1,010. I don't know how many records it'll let you add. If you see this priority number right here, basically when a server goes, it first goes to this server first, if this server is not responding, it'll go to this server uh, and this server, and then it'll keep trying different servers. So you can have 100 servers. Um, you can leave these in here, but it's just going to cause problems because the first it's going to go to try to go to these three servers, whichever one's faster, I believe. So I got to delete these uh, MX records. So. So right now, the only MX records that I have, the only MX records that I have are at priority of 10, mx.zoho.com, at priority of 20, mx2.zoho.com, and then mx3.zoho.com. Um, Google has two. I think you had two or three. Other companies will have more or less, you know, but um, it's always good to have more than two for... Um, just in case one doesn't work, one is one server's down, it'll go to the second one, and these. And this might be just one server, but um, pretty much, I think we're done right here. I'm gonna click on. I think we are we are done here. So, so I tested outbound mail and it worked fine. I I got it. I sent out an email, and and it worked fine but I try to reply to that email. Okay. So, I just clicked on MX Lookup and basically it verify that there, um, excuse me, my mic here, okay. Um, and everything seems fine, so I don't know what else it wants me to do. Oh yeah, this is to, um, to verify your, um, to verify your uh, domain uh, basically what this does is um, when you send email it'll it's gonna be coming from uh, zoho.com but what you're doing is you you're, you're you're letting zoho send email on behalf of yourself so um, I'm going to um, this is called an FPF uh, SPF record but um 
in essence, all you do is you're adding, there is no, no such a thing as an SPS. Let me see, is there? Oh, there is, I guess. But it's basically, you could just do a TXT record. It's the same thing, pretty much. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not a DNS guy, so if there's any DNS guys out there and you want to correct me, you're more than welcome to. So I just created... Okay, it doesn't like something here. Let me see here. Oh, I already created. I've already created an FPS record, which is a TXT record. It should be fine. So, this is what it's saying. It's saying that um, I've already created a record. So, let's just go back here. Um, Okay, um, you can, uh, in addition to, uh, let me just read this. In addition to FPS records, you can add DKIM signature for your domain to ensure better email delivery. Using a DKIM signature also ensures the valid email sent from your domain using Zoho are not classified as spam. Again, this is basically even better. This is even a better uh, DKIM enable for domain. Let me see here. Okay, I think I've already done this, but let me just double check here. I think we've done it already. Let's see, domain keys identified mail not enable okay so I guess this says this thing is not enabled okay all right select our name I guess this login to your domain DNS manager txt record all right I don't know let me let me just we just create one I guess Okay, so I just created this. I gave it a name of mail. I'm sure that you can name it whatever you want. So again, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna create a TXT record. Okay. The trick, this record is gonna be called, um, the host name on this one cannot be your, um, the host name on this one is going to be that's the host name on it it cannot be an at or it cannot be um, anything else for the content it's going to be for the value it's going to be this key and this is what's going to verify that you are who you are when you're sending an email and that's going to give you a better email deliverability let me make sure I say that word correctly and correct me if I'm wrong but um okay and i'm gonna click on save okay so i created another txt record for um mail domain key whatever um this is required for you to um verify your domain let's click on verify Check published email core key selector domain name. Okay. Um, 
Let's see if it's enabled. I'm gonna go back and go back to this. Bear with me, I'm not, this is not in a scripted video or anything like that. Okay, so I guess this thing is enabled and that's what we were looking for. Um, it's verified, mail has been verified that I have it or whatever. It's not really user friendly, so I'm gonna go back to setup. It seems that I set it up email migration when you switch from your previous email provider you can migrate the emails from the other service provider using imap or pop based on the access available you need the following details to migrate emails okay that's this is if you are using gmail or you were using your um your hosting email or whatever if you if you're going to migrate your email uh, in my case i'm not so um proceed to migrate i i'm going to skip this step Okay, mobile access, Soho Mail has multiple apps exclusively designed for administrators for administration on the go and email apps for users to check their email from everywhere, anywhere, anytime. So you can download the Zoho Mail admin app if you're an admin, which would be, that would be me, but inbox inside apps helps you to set up and get notified specific emails based on senders or folders so that you do not miss out important emails in the midst. Okay, Zoho Mail. Yes, you can download Zoho Mail on your iPhone or um, Android device, and you can use your email for your users. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, create. Great, your basic setup is complete. You are on the way to communicate. Blah 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 blah. Okay, so this is your control panel. You're back to control panel. Configure SPF. Configure the correct SPF records to ensure email delivery. The SPF records are not verified for. Okay, let's verify them. Okay, let's click on verify. We are unable to get TXT record for SPF right now. If you have added a TXT record just now, please wait for 30 to 45 minutes for the changes to propagate and try again. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Sometimes DNS only. Sometimes you have to wait for this thing to propagate. Uh, sometimes it just doesn't work. But what I'm gonna do is a little trick here: DNS, Google, Flash. So basically, I'm going to flush DNS cache on oh. at Google's. This is just going to flash Google's DNS servers, which rule the world. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, a bunch of uh, servers connect to Google to get DNS updates. So if you update Google's DNS servers, which um, are, I'm sure there are a lot of them, but the two that I know of the top of my head is 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. So a lot of DNS servers connect to these guys and you actually can speed up your DNS propagation uh, to less than 24 hours. So this might work, this might not. Okay, uh, it's looking for a TXT host name blank. SPF includes all that all. Yeah, it's there. And it is there. TXT. Yeah. So yeah i need i need to uh edit this i thought i had one but oh i didn't it's got the old it's got the old information that's why i can't not verify so basically uh i'm not even gonna delete it or anything like that all i'm gonna do is just replace it this is what uh name cheat or your um hosting provider would put on there or you could just create a new txt record add the at sign auto and then just just click on save so you should be fine now 
Verify. Verify. Okay. Let's flush the cash again. It's still going, flushing. You can see it right here. There you go. And the, the cash was just flushed. So let's see if this. Okay. Let me just refresh this and see if it. are the records that I have and like I said it will take a while for it to propagate um, emails a little bit different than um, we are unable to um, okay all right email the KIM it seems to be okay so this is the control panel uh, SPF Uh, let's verify. Oh, okay. Seems. Oh, shoot. Okay. We are unable to get the TXT record for SPF right now. If you have added the TXT record just now, please wait 30 to 45 minutes for the changes to propagate and try again. Okay. Uh, this one I'm going to do. I mean, you should wait 30 minutes and 40 minutes. This is a video, so I'm not really, I'm not really gonna do that right now. So I'm just gonna delete this record and create and recreate it as an SBF. I don't know if that's gonna make any difference. So I don't think that I know what I'm doing. So. before remember it, it wouldn't let me do it because there was a record already so okay so it put it in as a S, S, sorry SPF record okay so and let me look at this thing here and for those of you guys that like are oh I don't want nobody to see my stuff because well this is public information like if you see that right there dns only dns only you can go on a dns server and you can see this information this is public information it needs to be to be able to get your email delivered this is private information like the ip where my server where my where the uh things are hosted and stuff but um I'm not really uh, hosting a bank or a uh, financial institution or something. This is just an entertainment website. Oh, no. eh, it doesn't like it. It's a nasty. Okay, okay. Let me see if I can if I can push this through. If not, we'll just leave it alone and um, we'll assume that it it did it. So, flushing cash. I'll just stop the video and come back in, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. That's That'll suck, but, you know. Um, all right. So, I just flushed the cash. Let's go back to, to this thing. EKIM is good. It's enabled. Let's look at SPF. Come on, make it work for me, please. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, no. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop the video and then when this thing verifies this thing, I'm, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go into, I'm not even gonna, you don't really need to touch any of these things. What, um, what I'm go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create a uh, test. I'm gonna go ahead and create a uh, test user. If I can find where okay user detail dashboard configure correct SPF records to ensure email delivery the SPF records are not verified for a smooth help okay let's see if we can do it all right let's just create a user um, and I'm, and I'm gonna go ahead and log, um, download the app and then log in um, I'm at the dashboard and I'm gonna click on add user so you get Joe brand new guy at the company for example Joe blow and you're gonna give him Joe blow at smoothiehelp.com let's make the password I don't know one two three four five six seven eight real secured password oh my god um, all right I still I still don't I still won't take it so let's just make it um, Apple 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 one two three capital a Apple one two three and then it's got a dash at the end. It didn't care. Okay. All right. It's got an asterisk at the end. So Apple. One, two, three. And then an asterisk at the end. For user to change password during the first login. No, I don't really want to. Okay. So. I hit okay. This is just a, um, I'm the admin. The first account. Super administrator is called. Joe Blow is just you just tell oh yeah you're gonna go into your iPhone and download the Zoho Mail and um or you can go on a on a browser and um you can go on a browser and um go to Zoho Mail and log in with your uh, username Joe Blow at smoothiehelp.com and then enter your password you're gonna create give him the password or he can give it to you so let me just do that and then um. We'll wait for that SPF. Hopefully, it'll work. So here I am on my. So here I am on my uh, app store at um my iPhone, and I'm just going to download the Zoho Mail app. Um, this is going to be on your um, iPhone, and if you're on the um, computer. You're going to go to Zoho Mail. Zoho, Zoho Mail. And you're going to go into sign in, sign into your Zoho account. So um, I'm going to go to uh, sign, in, uh, sign in to this thing. We remember our... Um, Remember our uh, Joe Blow at Smoothie Help dot com. Next, and our password is going to be Apple one, two, three with the uh. Asterisk at the end. Sign in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if I can spell Apple. I think it needs two P's. Yeah. There's only one L. Let's see if that works. Yep. Sure. Okay. Manage your privacy. Blah, blah, blah. Not right now. 
you push notifications to the app will be delivered through Apple servers. You may choose to allow or disallow. Okay, great. Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, great. So, this is email. Inbox. Not an email. Let me send myself an email. Peter'smoviehelp.com. Hello. Test. This is internal email. So it works. Now I'm going to test uh, external. I'm going to test external email. Okay, so I just got the email and I'm gonna reply back right now. See, outgoing mail works, but incoming doesn't really. Okay. All right. So incoming mail is working. So that's it. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, after um, I think 10, 15 minutes, the um, I kind of got antsy and uh, I went on Google and then I did a uh, SPF record check and then I went to this website and I enter the smoothiehelp.com domain, validate DNS. And it said it found a, 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 a SPF record. Uh, it wasn't doing it earlier. And then after a while, it did it. So let's see if this thing is going to work. Oh, look at that. So we are good to go now. So um, I was thinking about um, what this is going to do. Uh, it's not really have anything to do with receiving email. And that's what we were waiting for. Because we want to, we're, we're going to receive email easy. Uh, email we're going to receive um, by adding the MX records because the servers now know where our email at our um, own um, our own domain, you know, in this case is smoothiehelp.com or in your case will be joespizza.com or mary's uh, pizzashop.com. Um, it will know where to send the email now to send the email is going to be the big problem because uh, there's a lot of spam going on on the internet it's been going on since ages so that's why they've come up with different uh, uh, security mechanisms so that uh, spammers uh, don't uh, spam don't send uh, email so um, this is just going to help you um, on when you send email that way there uh, other servers can verify and make sure that it's coming from your domain not from a spammer and it might not this might help you um, not end up in the spam folder which it's really not on, on, on under your control so that's why uh, some people when you like um, send somebody an email just verify it and if they didn't get it more than likely it went into the spam folder 
and that happens if you got a gmail a yahoo or anything most of the a lot of emails especially like if you have a hotmail or a live.com email a lot of times it will not go in the inbox it will go into the spam folder um, after you open the email let's say you send somebody an email from your company email and they it goes into the spam folder they can go in there and say this is not spam this is a company that I do business with so anytime they get an email they send me an email I want you to put it in my inbox and then it'll start getting into you into your you know customers or a friend's email and it'll start going into their inbox so this is just gonna help you this is just gonna help you do that um, basically the deliver the deliberability um, of your email is going to be a better you're gonna have a better chance of hitting your uh, people's uh, your friends or your or your uh, clients inbox so that's it um, I've configured the uh, email I, I configured an email user access nope user details um, I configure this Joe Blow email and I don't know I think you get um, on the free on the free uh, tier I think you get up to I don't know how many email boxes you get over here I don't know you um, we would have to um, let's see if if we can just do a search so oh, free email tier in email uh, accounts okay so you can add up to five free you can add up to five people on your um, yeah up to five users on this and it will be free now if you just need five users then that's fine you you don't need to uh, do anything else but more than likely if you're setting up email it's because you got a big company or you got more than five people in your company and uh, you know you got 10 20 people 30 40 50 then this is probably the cheapest the dollar a month per person everybody charges now there is no, there's nothing for free unless you want people to have gmail accounts which i mean doesn't look professional i don't know if you want your business to be represented by gmail.com so that's up to you but if you're a professional company and you're uh want to get your brand out there you want to have your own domain name you know um to be able to send and receive email because it, it, it you know if, if you're sending a proposal for you know two million dollars or you're doing a or you're doing some kind of work for a hundred thousand dollars i don't want you to send it from a gmail account i want you to send it from your domain.com so that's it guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up always remember to subscribe because that's how my videos get ranked if if, if people want to look at how to do this um, my videos will show up if you don't then nobody else will be able to see these videos that I make um, which by the way it's very long it went on to a, a long video I thought it was just gonna be a 10 minute video but setting email is not the same as setting up a website email is very complicated and it needs to be um, verified um this might change the the whole look of zo mail and, and how it works might change you know and 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 i'm sure that if you pay for these guys it's going to be a different outlook on the actual way that you do that do it but all of them are pretty much going to make you uh, go into your dns and update your mx records your txt records fps f uh, spf records and you're gonna have to have a dkim record that's optional but i i, I um suggest it a dkim record and a txt records they're basically all gonna have you do that some of them you're gonna be able to log in from your phone without a app like zoho mail you can just use the uh smtp or imap default like you can go on the iphone and you could just use the uh the same email i mean the same email program the iphone uses you don't have to install zoho mail but i think that 
a lot of people will enjoy that Zoho Mail app because if they're working for you or they they, they want to do separate emails, they want to have their own personal email and then they want to have the company email. So that's it. Um, I think I'm talking too much and um, I, uh, I'm just going to end the video here. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions on things that I did wrong, which I probably would did just leave it in the comments maybe i'll make another video or i'll just correct myself in the comment section so have a great day guys and thanks for watching